all doing great. Um, thank you for being here for another video. Today we're going to talk about a subject that is kind of a difficult subject to talk about. Stick with me here after the intro. Because I think it's an important subject to talk about. I think, I hope not, but I feel like a lot of people have been bullied in the past. First, I'm going to talk about my experience. I'm not going to give any names. I don't want to have any problem. I just want to talk about what I went through. I'm okay now, and people help me, and I'm going to help people by doing this video. I started working in this big company. So it's my first real job. So happy at this. I'm like, yes, I'm entering the adult world. I'm so happy. When I entered this company, I was directly moved to another, um, let's say, lab that was created. It didn't exist before, but they took me and they put me in there, which is not bad. And it was actually a good thing. But I was working, we were only two, the chef and I. Everybody who seemed to like him, he seemed like a really good person. I was like, cool, I'm happy to work with them. It's always just him and I. It was kind of weird for me. I was, I'm, the, I'm maybe a bit you know, shy and reserved. I'm an introvert, so I don't really like talking with people. I'd rather be alone. And he was really intrusive. You know, he like wanted to know things about my personal life. He was trying to make me talk. He wanted to know things about me. And at that time, I thought it was, oh, he's being nice. He wants to know things about my life. He wants to help me. I was wrong. And there was a lot of also questions about my sexual life. What were my favorite positions? Uh, who I was I dating? I didn't feel comfortable, and I said it. And they would say, oh, you're not funny, you're, what's the word, uh, uh, you're prude. And every time I would go to work, I would just wish that I, would, that I was going to be alone. I didn't want to work with him because he made me so uncomfortable. I met my boyfriend in this company. He did everything to destroy us. They, he created he created rumors about uh, me, about my private parts, about my sexuality. He told it to everyone in the company. company. But I wanted to stay in this company and I couldn't bear the thought of people thinking this about me. This I didn't want them to have this vision of me. I knew my colleagues didn't believe it, but I still didn't like having this image professionally wise. Like, why would you do this to me? What happened is he demoted me, I think that's the word. Uh, I was put back in an old, another lab because he didn't like me. And he thought it would make me sad. So inside of me, I was so happy. And I was with my colleagues again. Little did he know that doing this would actually make me stronger and would actually make me end this. I started working with my colleagues again and I had the courage to talk about what he said to me about the pressure that he put on me about those um, not really um, professional questions. He asked me about those rumors he created. It started giving me strength. He is a bad person. Uh, the day my grandfather died. Um, I had just um, went to the funeral the day after and I had to go back to work. And he came to see me. He asked me a question about my grandfather. I told him, he said, you know, your grandma is going to die soon. That's, that moment, I knew that he was a bad person. I knew hurt me and from that day on I wrote down everything he said to me every actions he had against me thank god I had my colleagues for that I'm so grateful for them he would try to tear me apart with my colleagues so make me be alone he would put me we have shifts different shifts morning shifts and afternoon shifts and he would try to put me often in the afternoon shifts so I wouldn't see them he would also try to put me in the morning shift if my boyfriend was in the afternoon for a whole month they we could not see each other because he made it so that we would always be in all shifts sometimes take pictures of mistakes i did i would like burn some pastries or i don't know i would make mistakes and he would take pictures of it and he would show it to other colleagues who were not even into the pastry um group he would show it to other people and make fun of me for no reason at all 
always like public humiliation. He wanted everybody to be there to criticize me. He loved doing that in front of people. And sometimes I just answer him like, stop, leave me alone. And then he would punish me and he would put me in an isolated room, like really small and kind of dangerous. And he would make me do something that's not at all pastry. He was like, do this all alone, no explanation. You leave me alone in this place. And one morning I woke up at 4 a.m. because I started 5 a.m. and I started having an anxiety attack. I started panicking. I couldn't breathe. I I just I didn't know what to do. I called my mom. I went to the hospital and they told me I had a panic attack. I thought that if my my body made me panic, it was already too much. So the next day I went to human resources. Uh, well, it's not really human resources. It was like the boss on top of my chef. And I talked about it. Um, I cried, obviously. I didn't want to, but I just, all the emotions went back. I was happy once I let it all out. I felt like a weight was leaving, leaving me. I felt so good talking about it. And I, I was like, why didn't I do it before? And what's funny is the once I talked about him, there were so many people who followed me. People would start talking about him. So it wasn't just me now. He would, they would realize that he was a bad person. He was not fired, though. I didn't want him to like be fired. I didn't want to wish him bad. I just wanted to be left alone. That's all I wanted. So yeah, he wasn't fired, but he left me alone. And he's still here. I still work with him. And things are better. I'm never going to forget what he did. I have to move on because shit happens. So now I'm just gonna give you advice. First of all, one, just talk. You need to talk about it to other people, to your family, to your friends, to your colleagues. They can give you advice. Secondly, talk to the harasser calmly. Just make him understand that what he's saying, what he's doing is making you uncomfortable. When you go and talk to your harasser, there needs to be a witness with you. You cannot be left alone with that person. If he continues, go and talk to uh, the proper authorities go and talk to human resources, to the bosses. Uh, if it's at school, go and talk to a teacher, uh, to headmistress. You can always go and check the law in your country. In France, we have specific laws about specific harassment. If you want to comment below or if you want to DM me on Instagram to talk about it, I... I'm there. I want to help people. You cannot stay alone. A few weeks ago, I asked you questions on my Instagram story to know if guys had gone through this. I wanted to know your point of view on the subject. I wanted to know how it happened for you. The first question was, have you ever been bullied at work? 40% of you said yes, 60% of you said no. So that's pretty good. Obviously, um, the majority is no, but there's still some yes, and it would be great if there were 0%. But when I saw the names of people who said yes, sadly, it's mostly women. I just wish it weren't that way. The second question was, did you talk about it to human resources? So that was only for the people who said yes. 24% of them said yes, and 76% of them said no. I think that's the problem. You need to talk about it. It took me a year to talk about it, so I understand why 76% of those people said no. We need to find the courage inside of us to talk about it. The third question was, was the problem handled and resolved correctly according to you? 100% of those answers are no. And I think that's a real problem in our system. You finally have the courage to talk about it. And it's not handled. Either people don't dare talk about it and they leave the job so the harasser wins. Either the victim has the courage to talk about it, but nothing is done and the harasser still wins. I want to say again, I am not a professional. I'm just giving you my personal experience, my personal advice. If you're going through this, you should absolutely talk to a professional. They're going to know it better than I can. I'm just telling my story. Thank you, everyone, for listening, for bearing with me through this whole story. I really hope um, you won't have to go through what I went through, what others went through. So if some of you want to share their experience, please the other one of you bring them love help and advice to each other it needs to be a helpful community you know my motto be cruelty free guys
Thank you so much for listening.